myself working mostly with oils. I really enjoy the vibrancy of their colours, the depth of their colours you can achieve with layer upon layer of oils. Um, oils allow you to manipulate them longer than acrylics which dry on you which I find frustrating. Um, so I find myself going back time and time again to oil paints. However I love coloured pencils, coloured pencils. I teach children um, and I say to children that um, artists use what you've got sitting there in your pencil cases. What you've got there in your pencil cases you can do magic things with. Now I think it's just the I'm used to oils because they don't dry on me as I'm working. They're more forgiving. I can go back and change and forgive rather than acrylics that are dry within 15 minutes I find frustrating. In fact, I once saw a Salvador Dali's that had cracking in it and thought, oh look at you, you didn't achieve perfection there, dear. <laughs> um, yours are cracking. Um, wonderful mediums you can mix now with um, oil paints to make sure they don't crack but we used to once upon a time use the old fat over lean the old um, linseed oil the turpentine mix and that would often crack so now I'm, I'm using a medium which doesn't crack as I say I work with children um, there's something about children being a child where you still look at the world with youthful eyes and find it being magic always as a child I drew I found solace in being alone and, and drawing. Um, so throughout my life, I've never had a time where I weren't, where I wasn't painting or drawing, um, except when I was taken over by earning an income by being a full-time teacher, which used up all of my waking hours. Um, so the need to be creative took over a few years ago when my children were old enough to then go off and support themselves. So I was able to go back to what my first love was, which is creating. But I don't think that ever really left. The need to earn a regular financial weekly wage took over for a while and that's difficult to achieve as a creative. Um, so yeah, that, that never left. It never left, it's just kind of come to the fore now. The time is real. Um, I've had a few people that have asked me to do commissions. I've um, sold some to overseas. Um, I, I've got two different works in um, hospitals in India. Um, one in the Delhi Children's Heart Hospital, which is a very large three panel work. It's about two meters by 1.5 meters each of the canvases. And it's um, a view from where I live down in Northern New South Wales, um, which I painted in very, very loud colors very loud colours and it's sunrise. So that one's been bought um, to go overseas and there's another one in the Raipur Children's Hospital which was a collaborative piece and that one was um, an acrylic piece and that was five very large canvases. They were about uh, 2.5 metres by 2 metres. They were, they, were, they were really big um, and they told a story. So that's also in a hospital. So that, that's a really nice thing. I've seen actually a photo of these little tiny Indian babies that have had heart operations and their families celebrating the successful operations in front of our canvases. So that's kind of special because it, it, they're happy. I think when people find something they love, they, they do snap it up. Um, and I, that happens more and more often with the sort of metaphysical work where people go, oh look, I love that idea. I think the world is evolving where people are looking for more than just our everyday paying the bills going to work but there's more out there there's a there's a spiritual realm and that can be expressed in color and in a visual image where people find that attractive to put on their walls and to, to contemplate yeah.